All right, so a colleague called me and was wondering how she could easily do an entrance ticket every day in this time of distance learning, and she wanted it to be easy because she wanted to do it every day. Uh, so through conversation, we decided we would use Desmos as the platform for doing the entrance ticket, and so this is what we ended up deciding how to do it. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go to Desmos, and you know I'm logged in because it says my name right up here. And then way on the left where it says custom, I'm gonna click on custom. And then way in the upper right hand corner, I'm gonna click new activity. All right, so let's call this entrance ticket template. All right, and between the two sharing settings, I'm gonna make it linked here, not private, because that would be bad. I'm gonna do link. I'm gonna create new activity and I get the classic blank screen. Uh, I'm going to drag in two components from the left side. I'm going to drag in media and I'm, then I'm going to drag in sketch and I'm going to put them on top of each other for a particular reason. Um, and so uh, basically down below is where the students are going to do their work right here. I, I'm going to insert that image rather than maybe hand type in using a note the problem because what I've found is to be honest, come on, let's just keep it real. I ain't got the time to type all that fancy LaTeX stuff and all that sort of baloney. I'm just gonna hand write it on, on a piece of paper, take a photo of it with my phone and upload uh, a screenshot of that image, right? Because that's gonna be the way to do it fast and easy so that I can make this sustainable. And uh, once I've got it, I'm gonna take that screenshot. I'm just gonna drag it right here. Oh, let's do this one first. Well, bam, there's my problem. There's no way I would want to type all of that sort of stuff in uh, hand by hand. And so to preview it, all I have to do is click the preview button and what bam, that's what students are going to see. They're going to see the problem. And then down below is where they're going to do their work. And that's it. Now, a nice little tap, uh, touch I like to do is I like to add a reflection. So I'm going to add a new slide and I'll put text input right here and I'll, I'll do reflection on this entrance ticket. How confident are you with your answer? All right, uh, tell why. Yeah, tell why. Good, so there it is. Now I am gonna turn off show students their classmates' responses because at this point I want this reflection to be a message that the student sends to me. I don't necessarily need to publicize their reflection, so I turn that off. And I am now officially done. I'm gonna click Publish way in the upper right-hand corner, and there is my entrance ticket. I'm gonna click Student Preview. There's the problem, the first slide, and then I'm gonna hit the Next button, and that's where their reflection is, and they hit, they type it, and they just hit the Submit button, and there it is. I am now officially done with my template. However, there's a catch, all right? So what I'm gonna do each day, I'm gonna take that template and I'm going to press the three dots and I'm gonna do right here, right here, three dots. And I'm gonna do copy and edit. And I, first thing I need to do in the upper left-hand corner is I need to rename it. So I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna do entrance ticket and I'll name it something thoughtful like the date, all right? And I don't need to, an activity description here. I'm gonna click Save, and there is my um, slide one, slide two in the upper left-hand corner. The bummer with Desmos is I don't know how to change this image, I can't. So the only thing I know how to do is delete that component and drag in an image again and now I can drag in from the right another problem for the day. I'm gonna hit publish. And it's thinking. And there it is, there's my problem and my reflection right here. When I'm ready to assign it to my students, I got a choice. I can either just click the assign button and assign it to my specific Google Classrooms or I can click that down arrow and assign a single session code. This is the old way of doing it. And assigning to the classes through your Google Classroom is then kind of the newer way to do it. 
And that's it. It doesn't get much easier than that. It's just uh, use that template, you insert two components, the media and then the sketch. And if you want to add a little flavor, add a second slide for a reflection and use that as a template. The bummer is uh, your media, you have to delete the old component, put in the new component with the new media, with the new screenshot. 